Just a few feet away from the Vatican is the Baroque Church of Saints Michael and Magnus. The structure dates back to the 9th century when the Frisians, a Germanic group that converted to Christianity, built a school to help pilgrims who would travel to Rome to visit the tomb of St. Peter. Frisians looked after the site for more than 700 years and established this church on the same spot. Archangel St. Michael is one of the leading characters in this intriguing story. In the year 590, Pope Gregory the Great had a vision of St. Michael near Castel Sant'Angelo. He was making a procession from St. Mary Major to St. Peter's to ask St. Michael for help because Rome was going through the plague. And he saw, along with all the faithful, as the archangel waved his sword and just like that, the plague ended. Soon after, nine churches sprung throughout Rome, all dedicated to St. Michael. This is the only one that still stands today. Parts of the walls from the 9th century that support it are still standing. Other treasures include these benches used during the Second Vatican Council. The church even has its own Scala Santa or Holy Stairs. Something very special about the church's history is that when the Frisians left in 1513, the popes no longer lived at St. John Lateran, but rather in St. Peter's. So then they had a Scala Santa built. We now have the second Scala Santa in Rome. In 1989, the Dutch descendants of the Frisians returned to Rome to look after the church once again. It highlights reconciliation and reunion. On Wednesdays and Saturdays from 10 to 1 in the afternoon, they lead guided tours of the church, a living witness to the historic ties between the Dutch community and Rome.